Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to take a look at the Yervin Felducan Original from Better Bush Craft as a sun reflector to keep the heat out of our shelter. This was the suggestion of my friend Scott and a couple other people that watched my last video on the Yervin. Some of them were in a warmer weather location and they want to beat the heat. So I think this is brilliant. It's not going to be as stealthy as it is flipped around with the camo, but if you're trying to stay cool, I think this is worth taking a look at. And while we're waiting on our results, we're going to take a look at the Savoda Ascara Hip Pack. I've had it now for a little while, and my friend Tim Keys, he's a big fan of it as well. And he thought it would be a really cool idea if we each offered our own perspective on the bag after six months. So he's going to show you his version on his channel, and I'm going to talk about what I got going on with mine out here in the Adirondacks in a woodscraft, bushcraft, camping type scenario. So welcome to Endurance Room. Well, we picked a good day to do this. It is currently about 105 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius. It's hot for anywhere. It is especially hot for the Adirondacks, but it's beautiful out. There's hardly a cloud in the sky. It's gorgeous, but hot. So let's get the Yervin set up. We'll get our thermometer in there and then we'll talk about the Ascari. The Yervin Original. So pretty nice size little tarp. So we're running it a little bit higher than I would normally set it, usually about waist height with this one, but it's going to give us the most surface reflection for the sun. And man, is it bright just looking at it. Let's pop back here, take a look at it from a short distance. This isn't about camouflage, but just so we can see. Oh yeah, <laughs> that pops. Hopefully it's going to be cooler on the other side. It's a nice little chunk of shade. Just sitting down here, a slight difference already. Let's put our thermometer down. I can already feel the difference. All right, guys, the Savoda Ascari hit pack. This is a seven liter hit pack and I've had it now for about six months. I absolutely, absolutely love it. This has been on my waist pretty much every trip to the woods since I've gotten it. I've been using this on overnights as well as day hikes and just, you know, just quick trips here and there. It's awesome. It could not have come at a better time. I had recently hurt my back. Big part of the recovery was getting a hold of this guy and using it with smaller backpacks like the Hatka or the Nuka Haka backpacks, as well as the Sarma TSC CP15 combat backpack. So those small, the medium sized backpacks work really, really good with this as it forms a shelf for the backpack to ride on, which in turn loads your hips, taking all the stress off of your upper body. Absolutely love it for that. I'm really grateful to have it. On the side here, I've got a Sarma TST GP zip pouch. And I basically just use this for anything quick and convenient. Usually most often my phone but it's good for a compass, notepad, pacing beads, snacks. The only other addition that I've made to the hip pack has been some shock cord on the bottom. If I want to stash my poncho on the outside or my Yervin, I can roll it up and it'll fit right there. You may have noticed these past couple months, I have been using a second belt. I've got a dump pouch, a canteen, and my knife on a second belt. And that kind of works in conjunction with this, which lets me still rotate this around my body and you know not worry about this stuff spinning around and conflicting that rotation let's take a look at the inside of the pack i'll go through the contents real quick but before we do that check out the thermometer it has cooled off drastically it is now 88 degrees fahrenheit 32 degrees celsius so huge difference that is awesome. Good call, guys. 
So if you are in a warm weather location, you need to stay cool. This isn't a bad setup. Not very stealthy, but that's pretty effective. All right, so aside from the Yervin, let's see what I've been carrying in here. Right on top, we got a net. It's about the size of a schmog and you can use this to help keep the bugs off. Debris filter for when I'm picking up water, towel hygiene. The Yervin Felducan Original. If I need more room inside of the Ascare, I can just put this on the belt and carry it that way. I've got a tourniquet right in the middle. This is some cordage called Lash It. I like it. It's really strong. It doesn't stretch. It's really light, but it's also really slick. So if you guys are using this, let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you. I've got my headlamp. Got a wool neck buff, some metal straws I can use as a bellows for my fire. Silky pocket boy. This is an X reel. It's a little hobo fishing kit. It's from Better Bushcraft. This is a little orange ditty bag, and on the inside here, just got a water filter and a bag for it. In here, I've got. Little Savota trinket pouch. I've got some first aid stuff, some duct tape, space blankets, bandages, and a small mirror. And it keeps it nice and organized and pressed flat against the back of the panel. You could run two of them on the inside of this and help organize your stuff. Inside of the pockets, I've got nav pocket with right in the rain notepad, pencil, a small map of my area, and a compass. On the other side, I've got bug net for my head, ferro rod that is carabined into the pack, something to drink, and a small fire kit with some surefire, some birch bark, an extra lighter, and a small candle. Sounds like we got quite the little storm moving in, but that about wraps it up. Well, there you have my loadout for the Savota Ascare after about six months of use. Good amount of stuff, but like I said, my favorite part is just the shelf that it creates for my backpack. It's wonderful having the stuff there organized, but the way it helps carry the load with my backpack, it, it can be overstated. It is awesome. Highly recommended. So much for not a cloud in the sky. There you have it. We're all packed up. Head on, headed back out. The shelter is now the rain wear. And as you can see, multi-use kit. That's the way to go. It lightens up your pack and gives you a lot of flexibility out in the woods. There you have it, everybody. Hope you're all good. We'll see you soon. Cheers.